Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 30th of August, Thursday. Second to last day of the month. Big news yesterday out of the EU, Barnier. Sort of uh, gave an indication that there might be a soft Brexit coming. This trend line broke beautifully at 11. We've now traded as high as 130.38. Uh, this looks like it has more to go. Incredibly uh, important moment in cable. You have positive news and a market that is short. So, core long sterling is the way. You can express it in cable today. Um, obviously, the, there was no dip last night in Asia, 22 to low, no real move. You can buy today 20s, 10s, figures. Your stop uh, has to be below 129.50. So uh, just price that into your, your purchases and just tactically trade this from the long side. Um, this looks like to me we're going to get a few uh, green days in a row. And you don't want to miss this. Sterling Swiss uh, also is a good way to express this. You see this big down move in Sterling Swiss from 138 down to 125.10. Bullish engulfing at the lows. You can just add through 66 today uh, for a test of uh, 127.23. The problem with Sterling Swiss is there looks like there's still just a little bit more dollar Swiss to liquidate. All of these CTAs are liquidating billions and billions of positions below the 200 day moving average uh, in like this slow, I don't know, slow liquidation um, as you can see on the chart here. Just that's Sterling Swiss. Just no real balance yesterday. Ninety-seven, sixty-seven, all the way down to oh six. And we got that little mini balance when dollar yen shot up just after the fix. And then all the way down, just more liquidation. 98.50 is the support in dollar Swiss, and you can start looking at getting long dollar Swiss. You could probably start getting long dollar Swiss now or at around the figure, buying all the way down to 50, or you can wait for 50. Not sure we're going to see it, um, but once this liquidation, this forced liquidation is over, we should get some sideways movement and maybe even a move back higher in dollar Swiss. Uh, I do believe at the end of the year, dollar Swiss is going to be a parity. So, something to think about if you're a medium term or, or a longer term trader. Picking up dollar Swiss in the mid 90s is probably not a bad idea. Let's quickly pop over to dollar Rand. Traded up to 51 yesterday. No, 49.60. We're still trading this core long. Um, dollar Turkey is 647. Um, the problem with dollar Rand today, and, and why we're we're a little bit cautious, and so we instead of buying high ones today, we'll we'll be buying low ones is euro dollar looks like it's set to go higher so this brexit news is not only good for sterling but it's also good for euro we tried lower yesterday as you can see pretty much failed closed at the high middle of the range 
with month end uh, nonsense uh, approaching you could easily see this uh, this slide higher yesterday's high was 13 oh yesterday's high was 10 uh, today's high is 13 we're gonna start getting long with prices above 13 looking for this 117.35 and then eventually uh, 117.50 uh, break over the next day or two maybe even today um, doesn't make a lot of sense on sort of the macro side of things but this looks like it's in play uh, euro dollar higher which brings you to the incredibly awkward cross yen charts we tried the downside yesterday got stopped out a lot of green days here but with equities at 29.12 and boons on their knees this thing uh, looks like we might even test this 130, 130.30 the 200 day um, very very awkward no one likes this uh, therefore is it going to happen? Mm, maybe no dog in this fight uh, this euro yen just watching for now overnight we had some pretty bad news on the capex and uh, Oz, you saw that move 7308 down to 7275. Core short Aussie uh, continues to pay. Finally, uh, the Canadians are at the table with the Americans to try and nail down the rest of this NAFTA. If they fail, dollar CAD is uh, going to shoot higher. The irony of, of America giving Mexico a big hug and signing papers with Mexico and then slapping Canada in the face uh, is not lost on the privateer FX gang. We will be watching and waiting for this Canadian failure and ready to pay the offer in dollar CAD when the headlines hit. Keep your eyes on the headlines next two days. They're supposed to sign this thing by Friday. Even though the press uh, is pretty positive today, it seems to me that uh, just based on Trumponian logic, this is probably set to fail. Alrighty, that's it for now. Uh, we got some U.S. numbers, the usual stuff, Thursday stuff, jobless claims, uh, and then we have also uh, German CPI today is worth watching uh, for the euro. This could be your trigger for your hire if you get a hot, hot number out of Germany. Alright, I'll leave you guys with that, uh, and I wish you a good day trading. Ciao.